Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com, once again on the beaten path. And in the life of a boat broker, as you guys can see, my current situation, some days are better than others, and uh, this happens to be a good one. My only issue here is, I'm having a really hard time concentrating on the task at hand uh, with all the beauty that's around me. Uh, but let me get to the point, I do not want to be respectful. Oh my God, is that a Chevelle? Um, yes all right focus anyway i have something super special right next to the t-bird nice anyway <laughs> i have something super special out here with you guys and this is going to be a long video um and uh, i want to introduce to you guys lola this is a 1963 cruisers inc sea camper 18 model 370 completely and when I say completely completely refit and restored did would be too much for me to go over in video I will have so much detailed information on the website a lot of it from actually one of the top surveyors in the area that basically did my descriptions for me um, that went through this vessel uh, I think she appraised uh, not even a replacement caught up around forty thousand dollars and obviously being a wood boat, um, you know, you're gonna be limited in areas where you're gonna utilize this, although we are in a saltwater area, uh, but mostly she sits in this climate controlled uh, area under high security. And, um, but for lake areas and showings and for all you aficionados out there, this is one of the most uh, uh, special uh, boats I have seen in a long time and what I'm going to do out here I got my lantern with me just in case because it's a little bit dark up and in and I will have uh, at least a hundred pictures on the site and actually at the end of the picture set I will also try and have um, for you let me get moving for you uh, you know restoration pictures because you're dealing with mahogany uh, fur uh, teak holly and you know all stainless steel uh fittings um including the originals um everything and i mean when i say everything from stringers on up on this particular vessel uh have been redone um you know whether it be revarnished planked uh repowered and uh what we're going with there is a df suzuki df 170 uh 2015 model right now hailing with about two hours um, you know and that has been from cables all the way to wiring and on up um, there is not anything in this boat that hasn't been redone and you're gonna see it as you guys can see here for shows there is the original brochures on this particular cruiser model and um, it's, it's won awards and I am going to work through uh, what's happening with the uh, engine starting back there. So hopefully we can just kind of go with that so I don't... And there we go. Um, that is right here, the original purchase order uh, for the uh, vessel back in 1963. And um, it was purchased at the boathouse in Highland Park, Illinois and uh, the manufacturer is out of Wisconsin. So you can see the history involved with this boat. First and foremost, I just want to put a couple of fears aside. Trailer's in really nice shape. Uh, real nice road trailer. Uh, no complaints there, you're, you're good. And um, the seller was a little bit questionable on that. Uh, fresh bottom paint, fresh paint all the way through. What I'm gonna do is now just kind of walk around the outside. Hopefully this GoPro is getting what you need to see um, we just got a little bit more input of light and I'm just going to kind of let you guys see exactly what's happening here. All right. Back here. My engines, uh, last I had heard it's got two hours. If it has five, I'd be shocked, but I think it still has just two hours on it. She hasn't even been broken in yet. I don't need to pull the cowling on that. Let you guys see the finish. I'm going to try and go slow and take shaking this out and let me just pop up here 
that's the orig original navigation on the bow light so you guys can see everything has been recalked resealed redone I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna get into the details um, I'm just trying to show you the beauty of what we have here you know and obviously I'm not an expert on wood vessels but the surveyor was Let's see if we can get oops just trying the best I can here I don't want to bang into guys Porsches as much as I love boats I don't feel like buying a Porsche today although that red Chevelle over there I, I really have to I'm, I'm freaking out I wonder really want to go over and look at it all right and let's just walk around here this is I mean this thing is just a beauty obviously um, you know she's up for sale the seller is never ever going to recover his costs and he knows that um, but he he wants to move on he feels like she needs a new home he's he's enjoyed it thoroughly um, just the restoration of process alone I mean geez Louise I, I it's everything back here is no I mean just look at that marine water fuel separator look at the cables all right just real quick okay that is cable steering this would be great in fresh water also uh, 18 gallon tank brand new um, you know uh, hoses vents uh, everything you know aluminum 18 gallon aluminum tank this vessel is 17 foot 11 uh, it's about a thousand twenty six pounds um, it should be a 7.5 beam I think it's 85 inches and uh, add in the weight of the engine you're probably looking at tow weight you know about 1600 pounds uh, yeah 1600 pounds I was gonna say 16,000 but if you guys just take a look at what I see I'm oh I forgot my lantern shoot sorry I could restart the video and do things over especially when that car started but I like to do these things fresh I like to make the mistakes I like to sound almost uh, you know uneducated at times because it's just an honest assessment of what I see oh uh, yeah that anode doesn't even look like it's ever touched salt water I don't know if this boat has ever touched salt water I would assume it has um, you know for shows uh, sitting at the dock I have no complaints as far as the bottom pane exterior um, you know I'm sure there's a nick or a scratch if I go through everything with a magnifying glass let's just okay let's just see if we can you guys can see what I see down here original fuel right there but new tank all the upholstery is new just assume everything's new let's just go with that new redone repainted revarnished recalked rewired recabled re everything all right there's our Suzuki controls you guys can see the cables planking the sides storage up in here let's take a look right here I'm gonna try and do the best I can here for you guys see if I can get that light in there see if you guys can see what I see trying to give you the real best I can do uh, real nice it looks like original Bimini hardware uh, the Bimini has been replaced as far as canvas goes now if you guys can see here original hardware you guys can see Lola with the plaque I don't think anybody's gonna argue right here about that that is outstanding you guys can see right there your control panel new gauge hailing with a uh, Garmin echo map 50 s you guys can see and let's take a look up here and what I'm gonna do it looks like these pop out yes I'm not gonna do it oh yeah look at that huh windows pop out and actually that will pop up and down nice uh, let's see if I can get up here See what you guys got so you can see here right there okay now what I'm gonna do is get a little more let's go into the cuddy cabin and as you guys can see whoop, 
center cushion fell out on me. Let's just go there. So actually you got your cross. I don't have the piece in for you, but you guys can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this forward. Cushions are all new. Everything's new. So you guys can see right here. Look at that. Isn't this special? This is just outstanding. God, I hope this GoPro is getting this. It's like I'm on a treasure hunt. It is just a great morning in the boat brokerage business. Just, a, just an honor to be in front of a vessel like this. Let's see if I can get that up. And I'm going to show you some other stuff from the side storage. Let's just get that. I should have took out the cushions. Let's just get that moved over. There we go. All right. Also, I did not show this in a picture. Uh, accordion uh, original closing. Uh, let's see if I can unsnap that. Look at that. Well, if that doesn't take you back, nothing will. Um, outstanding. Look at that. And she flows freely. Okay. And then let's just pop up what I want to do. Oh, let's go back here first. What I'm going to do, you guys just bear with me. I'm trying not to break anything. New speakers, new stereo, new everything. Said that about a thousand times. Storage area. As you guys can see, Teak and Holly. No expense was spared. I don't even want to know what was invested in this vessel. I, 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 I just I couldn't even tell you. This would be a great. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Look at that. We got an hour meter. All right, seven point. I should have found that. 7.5 hours so we'll call it eight hours let's just do that um wow i'm real excited about that eight hours i gotta get a picture of that all right i'll put that up on the side as well now what i want to do is just kind of it's going to be the same forward I'm trying to get let you guys off the hook so you don't have to keep watching so you guys can see down here everything's been redone in fact, let's just pop that open too up here. There you go. Hopefully you guys see that. All right. So overall, you guys now know what I know. Obviously, it's going to take me hours to get all the information on the site. And um, the survey was done back in, two, I think, 2016, obviously for insurance purposes. This boat was worked on over about an 18 month period um restoration started in approximately 2014 and finished up i think at the end of 2015 or somewhere right around there uh and then she's just been a showboat um since then so hopefully you guys enjoyed that i wish i could have did a little better with some lighting and i i hope that this comes through but anybody in the market, she is clearly um, priced to sell. Okay, I know what the price is going to be. She's going to be priced to sell. Any of you, anybody that knows any salt and any kind of restoration on any kind of wood boat, really should not argue the price. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude or crude or obnoxious or any which way, shape, or form. You know what's gone into this. Uh, in addition to the powering, um, you are 100% up to speed. Factually, this isn't a price issue, okay? The seller deserves what he is asking for this boat, which is firm. You know, unless you can give me just cause under survey where you can, uh, you know, justify some work that needs to be done, which I, I, I would find it hard to believe uh, other than something ticky-tack. This is an issue of, are you in the market for this kind of vessel? Because if you are, all the work is done here for you. Okay, you're done. Um, and you have history, you have lineage, uh, you know, from the ground up from 1963 to right now, August 1st, 
2017. So let's all be respectful. Once again, this isn't a price issue. This is, if you are in the market or you're looking or you're looking for a show boat or you're looking for a lake boat, uh, or if you're looking to just put a boat next to your docks uh, so you can tell your neighbors you have it and you want to neener them and say, you know, you don't. Whatever the reasoning may be, the work has been done for you. And as you can see, the work continues as she's cared for in a very nicely climate controlled atmosphere. Just looking around at the cars, you can see this is the place to be. And I am here and I am grateful. So anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com, normally on the water, but in the sea of beauty. And today is a good day. Wishing you guys a blessed, a great, and a safe boating day. Rob signing off.